welcome children this is your social class the continuation of chapter 4 weather and climate i hope all are read your textbook proper isn't it so tell me children which are the heat zones three heat zones are the first one is torrid zone second one is uh, temperate zone third one is frigid zone so tell me uh, what is torrid zone that is toric zone the another name is tropical zone the toric zone lying from where that is topic of cancer and topic of capricorn okay so that areas receive more sunlight that's why near the equator become very hot region hot place okay that's why the climate is always humidity uh, very humid and hot throughout the year okay and the second uh, second one is temperate zone temperate zone the area lying between the torrid zone and uh, frigid zone in both okay torrid zone de frigid zone in de um uh, in between aitana aarullathu temperate zone okay the climate is neither hot and neither cold chalapa chooda irikkum chalapo tanuppa irikkum okay and the third one is frigid zone frigid zone the area lying between the uh, arctic circle uh, and the north pole in the uh, northern hemisphere the antarctic pole uh, and uh, south pole in the southern hemisphere it's called frigid zone okay already we are discussed the last class in the picture also okay children so this is frigid zone and uh, here the climate is cold because uh, the sun rays are getting uh, uh, the rays are slanting lines because that areas receive less sunlight that is the reason its climate is cold okay these are the three heat zones understood children so now we are going to uh, explain uh, words to know and tick the correct answer find out the uh, correct answer and two question answers also so first one is uh, words to know so take everybody take out your textbook and look at page number 208 so what is humidity and altitude so two new words are coming in this textbook that is humidity and altitude so humidity means amount of water vapor in the air so that is humidity and altitude height above the sea level that is altitude and uh, tick the correct answer the condition of the atmosphere at a given place and time is called tell me children it's a climate or weather the answer is weather the second the sun rays fall directly on the areas near the equator so evadeyana sun rays directly verunathu near the equator third one the water vapor or moisture present in the air it's called humidity fourth it is hot and humid throughout the year in the evadeyana throughout the year uh, hot and humid irikkuna zone ane idu torrid zone and filling the blanks first one the dash of a place does not change over a long period of time that is climate long period of time that is climate second the world uh, is divided into dash major climate region how many major climates we have in the world that is seven major climates okay children and th third question the rays of the sun become dash as one moves away from the equator so our sun rays is like in the irkum equator in the move in the sun rays is become slanting slanting rays and the fourth one is places near the coast have a dash climate that is moderate climate coast in the sea coast in the adathulla climate eppozhum endirikkum moderate climate it's not a very hot it's very not a very cold it's a moderate climate fifth one the dash zone remain cold all the year round eppol ella varsham cold aayirikkuna oru heat zone aanu frigid zone okay and the question answers first question is that why do places near the equator 
receive more heat than those near the pole so that is the question why do poles near the equator receive more heat adhaayad equator inde avadeyulla sthalangal ellam endukondana they receive more heat than poles poles nekkalum koodal heat aa bhagangalil ulladu endukondana that is the question the answer is that the places near the equator receive more heat the sun rays are the sun rays are vertical line so that areas receive more sunlight and its uh, this area spread over a small area sunlight avadeke equator like adikkunathu vertical line aanu avadeulla small areas small areas aayidondana aayidondum they avadeulla sthalangal endayirikkum it's become very hot and at the same time the sun rays are slanting near the poles they receive very less sunlight okay and also it spread over a large area appo adu kondu thanne aa large area il muluven endeyum aa kittuna slanting rays spread cheyum so that is the reason in the why do people near the equator receive more heat okay and the second question is the difference between weather and climate we are already discussed what is weather and what is climate what is weather children weather is the condition of air temperature air pressure wind humidity and rainfall in the atmosphere at a given place and time it's called weather the same what is climate the climate also it's a weather condition prevailing over a large area what happened and for a long period it's called climate okay children that is the difference between weather and climate and uh, one one more question is there uh, what is that that is what is moderate climate and what is um, extreme uh, extreme climate so what is moderate climate and what is extreme climate tell me children that is places that are neither very hot in summer uh not very cold in winter have moderate climates that is the examples of delhi and uh, chennai okay so these places such as chennai which are near the sea coast have a moderate climate and uh, which places are far away from the sea coast that places extremely hot climate okay this is the answer of uh, b what is the difference between extreme climate and moderate climate so children every time uh, ev all children you want to listen uh, this video carefully and watch the read the textbook proper and which are the important points are uh, in your textbook you want to underline study very well okay children thank you